Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, and on this channel, you can find all things luxury handbags, neutrals, and elevated style. You can also find me over on Instagram at Lux Petite, where I'm styling my brown and beige handbags. Now, in today's video, I have a very exciting, the best handbags for summer 2024. I have rounded up my top 10 handbags, and I looked at all the trends. Of course, my favorite brands from Bottega, Celine, you name it, they're all here, and let's get started. My first pick is Pastel Muted Colors. Now you guys know I love a good muted color. This is my Fendi Mini Baguette in the mint green and I can't get enough that I had to get it not only in the baguette, but also in my peekaboo here. But my top pick goes to Dior. They have this amazing buttercup yellow. Now you guys, I am very particular when it comes to my muted colors, but I think Dior did an amazing job. They did this yellow last season and I haven't seen this in person, but if it was anything like they had last season in the Carol bag and whatnot, that color is breathtaking. I would certainly love a Lady Dior in this beautiful buttercup yellow. I think that's not only iconic, but such a perfect bag for summer. Now my runner up for the muted colors goes to the Celine Triumph in the soft yellow. Of course there was going to be Celine on this list and the Triumph is one of those styles that's on my wish list but this particular combination, the light soft yellow with the gold, I actually like this combination. Not sure if I'm in love with that $39.50 price tag but I will say that this is probably their best version of doing a yellow shade to date. And I love this one. I would love to check this one out in the boutique, but I would say between the two shades, I probably still would lean toward the Dior yellow shade. Let me know what you guys think. Next up is clutches. I think you need a clutch for summer. There's so many great events in Chicago. And of course, I always do dinner with my husband on the weekends. So I am constantly using a clutch in my bag rotation really all year, but I would think that the top pick goes to the brand Bottega Veneta. They have this beautiful Lauren clutch. It's the 1980 and it comes with a chain and they brought this style back from the archives and I kind of just obsessed with this one. They have some stunning colors. Of course, there's this color called string. It looks like a soft white, totally up my alley. There's also the beautiful burgundy. I think it's called Barrello. I wanna say that one is also, I think would be stunning in this handbag. But I love that this one, it's the 1980 and I was born in 1980, so I feel like there's even more. I love Bottega. I love the significance with the year, and this one with the multi-purpose, with the shoulder strap, the chain, and having it as a clutch, I could see this so cleanly in my collection. I think this would be another great addition. The price tag is up there. It's $4,400, so you really gotta love it if you want this particular handbag, but this one I think is definitely up there for my faves. Now the runner up when it comes to a clutch is still gonna go to Bottega Veneta, and you heard me talk about the Anyamo clutch. This is a hot one. Every time I go to the Bottega Veneta store in downtown Chicago, they never have it in stock, and I would say that if you really want one, it's probably worth connecting with a Bottega essay. Brandon is constantly chatting me about this handbag. I just keep putting handbags ahead of it. <laughs> but I think this is another great handbag. Now, for many months, I was tracking this Anyamo clutch because I, again, I could see this as a perfect evening out bag, but I kind of like the Lauren. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you prefer the Lauren 1980 or the Aniyamo Clutch, let me know. I have one more clutch recommendation for you, and that is from YSL. I recognize I really don't talk about YSL much on this channel, but this past weekend, Bag Besties, Caleb and Zane, we checked out the YSL store, and we saw this amazing clutch. Move over Uptown Clutch, because there is a new clutch in town, and this one just looks so good in person. I believe it's lambskin and it's a new clutch, comes in black and white. I think it's called Crema Soft is the color. And the leather, it is so good. It's so like smushy like and really nice. I was really impressed. The price point is at 990. 
So I would say if you're looking at a designer clutch, this one I think is a pretty good pick. Next summer bag trend has to go to denim. I love Fendi's mini baguette in the denim. Now, if you recall last season, they had this bag, but with silver hardware. And I think this year's version, I like it even better. It comes with the light denim, the tanned, as well as light gold hardware. I think it's just like a nice combination. And certainly at the $21.50 price mark, I think that's pretty decent compared to the other handbags on this list. Now, the best part with baguettes, not only do you get like a chic handbag, but Truly mini baguettes, they are super functional. I love the fact that it's like you have nice quality leather and multiple ways that you can wear this handbag. So to me, I think Fendi baguettes, it's a top pick for summer. Next up, we've got Raffia. And of course, you guys know I have my Celine Raffia, the wallet on strap pick. I think Celine really brought it this season when it came to Raffia. There's like over 20 different styles of raffia bags on their website right now. It's crazy, but I would say some of my favorites is probably this design where it's really understated with that Triumph logo. As you guys know, I prefer much more understated type of designs. And certainly I think the price point is somewhat decent. It is raffia and of course, I can understand if you prefer to spend more on like a leather handbag and not raffia, but I will say that if Celine is not your thing, another one that I would also consider as a top Raffia pick would be from The Row. Out of my row picks for more of the natural woven, I love the Stell Tote. I don't think that's a surprise to you guys when you see this one, but it's supposed to be hand woven and I love this brown. I think it's the perfect type of Raffia bag for my collection. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And this price point, it's $11.50, I believe. And that one, I'm like, okay, I can get behind more of this. It's, it's one of the best Raffia totes out there. And I really debated about, to be honest, guys, like, do I really need another Raffia bag in my collection? And because to me, this is like a great day to night bag because I have the strap. It's like a clutch, but I don't have a Raffia shoulder bag. So let me know. Do you guys think I need to add the one from the row? I think it's the perfect Raffia shoulder bag, but you know, just a little bag addicted over here. Next summer handbag is an oversized tote. If you love Celine and the row, I think you're going to love the brand Kate. Kate is a New York based brand. You've probably seen it on my channel. I've unboxed a couple ready to wear items, including a handbag. Now the handbag I have from the Kate is the Olivia handbag. I fell in love with this beautiful coffee suede, but we are here not to talk about the Olivia handbag. I actually wanted to bring up the Lotus handbag. It's a scarf inspired design. I just think this is a simple chic, but it's also like a great bag where you can put everything in it. They have a couple different materials this season, some raffia, and my favorites would have to be the green leather as well as the suede. Now, could you imagine that toffee suede with my coffee suede? I think that's a cute combination, but I do probably prefer the green leather if you're going to go for like an everyday type of handbag. So out of today's 10 bags, my favorites have to go to the Dior in either that beautiful buttercup yellow or the latte. I'd be happy with either handbag or the rose Estelle toe in that beautiful raffia brown. What was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.